Mitchell. In speeches at the UN, U.S. President Donald Trump and Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu addressed two major threats to peace in the Middle East and the world. First, here's excerpts from President Trump's speech. No one has shown more contempt for other nations and for the well-being of their own people than the depraved regime in North Korea. It is responsible for the starvation deaths of millions of North Koreans and for the imprisonment, torture, killing, and oppression of countless more. Now North Korea's reckless pursuit of nuclear weapons and ballistic missiles threatens the entire world with unthinkable loss of human life. The United States has great strength and patience, but if it is forced to defend itself or its allies, we will have no choice but to totally destroy North Korea. Rocket Man is on a suicide mission for himself and for his regime. The United States is ready, willing, and able, but hopefully this will not be necessary. That's what the United Nations is for. Let's see how they do. We face this decision not only in North Korea. The Iranian government masks a corrupt dictatorship behind the false guise of a democracy. Rather than use its resources to improve Iranian lives, its oil profits go to fund Hezbollah and other terrorists that kill innocent Muslims and attack their peaceful Arab and Israeli neighbors. We cannot let a murderous regime continue these destabilizing activities while building dangerous missiles, and we cannot abide by an agreement if it provides cover for the eventual construction of a nuclear program. The Iran deal was one of the worst and most one-sided transactions the United States has ever entered into. Frankly, that deal is an embarrassment to the United States, and I don't think you've heard the last of it. After Trump's speech, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said in his 30 years of experience at the UN, he hadn't heard a bolder or more courageous speech. Netanyahu also addressed the world body and he too warned about the dangers of a nuclear Iran. President Trump rightly called the nuclear deal with Iran, he called it an embarrassment. Well, I couldn't agree with him more. The Iranian nuclear deal not only doesn't block Iran's path to the bomb, but actually paves it. Because the restrictions placed on Iran's nuclear program have what's called a sunset clause. Now, let me explain what that term means. It means that in a few years, those restrictions will be automatically removed, not by a change in Iran's behavior, not by a lessening of its terror or its aggression. They'll just be removed by a mere change in the calendar. Iran will then be free to enrich uranium on an industrial scale, placing it on the threshold of a massive arsenal of nuclear weapons. I know there are those who still defend the dangerous deal with Iran, arguing that it will block Iran's path to the bomb. Ladies and gentlemen, that's exactly what they said about the nuclear deal with North Korea. And we all know how that turned out. That's why Israel's policy regarding the nuclear deal with Iran is very simple. Change it or cancel it, fix it or nix it. Today I have a simple message for Ayatollah Khamenei, the dictator of Iran. The light of Israel will never be extinguished. As long as Iran's regime seeks the destruction of Israel, Iran will face no fiercer enemy than Israel.